uh, and in regard to abortion. But uh, abortion law that was passed in uh, Georgia last year uh, in, in regard to uh, fetal pain issue and and uh, whether you can <coughs> perform an abortion up to 26 weeks, no questions asked except rubber stamp from two physicians uh, and, and then and it has to be done in a medical facility uh, was changed somewhat uh, and would make abortion more difficult uh, at say 22 weeks or 23 weeks uh, and that's been very controversial and been a lot of pushback the OBGYN community my professional society in particular uh, so uh, that that will will continue you know there are those that just uh, uh, I'm a very, very strong pro-life OBGYN physician, and I was pro-life long before I became a doctor. I mean, I raised a Catholic, still Catholic, and, uh, uh, you know, life uh, begins at uh, birth and it ends at natural death. Uh, or I say life begins at birth, it begins at conception uh, and ends at natural, uh, natural death. Uh, and, and so I, I have a very strong feeling about that. Uh, it, some kind of people are, are reluctant to bring it up, but you know, in the in, in the the reason the the Dems uh, part of the reason the Dems still control the Senate uh, is because of comments made in Missouri uh, by Todd Aiken and in, in Indiana by uh, uh, Murdoch uh, were considered a little bit over the top. Murdoch basically said, "Look, if uh, if there's a conception at, at, in the aftermath of a rape." Uh, that's still a child, uh, and it's a child of God, essentially. Now, in Indiana, that cost him the election. Uh, in, in Missouri, Todd Aiken, long-term member of the House of Representatives, a very, very good personal friend of mine, was asked by a local news uh, uh, source, uh, radio interview, I think, about uh, rape, and he said, look, uh, in a legitimate rape situation, and what he meant by legitimate rape was this: Look, someone can say I was raped, uh, I, you know, a, a, a scared to death, a 15-year-old uh, that becomes impregnated by a boyfriend, uh, and then has to tell the parents. Uh, you know, that's pretty tough, uh, and might, on on some occasion, say, "Hey, I was raped." That's what he meant when he said legitimate rape versus non-legitimate rape. I don't find anything so horrible about that. But then he went on and said that uh, in a situation of rape, of a legitimate rape, a woman's body has a way of shutting down so that pregnancy would not occur. He's partly right on that. I'm an OBGYN doctor. I've been an OBGYN doctor for a long time, uh, since 1975. And I've delivered lots of babies, and I know about these things. It is true. We tell infertile couples all the time that are having trouble conceiving because of not the woman not ovulating, just relax. Drink a glass of wine. Uh, and, and don't be so tense and uptight because all that adrenaline can cause you not to ovulate. So he was partially right, wasn't he? But the, the, the fact that uh, a woman may have already ovulated 12 hours before she is raped, uh, you, you're not going to prevent a pregnancy there by a woman's body shutting the thing down because the horse has already left the barn, so to speak. Uh, and yet the media took that and tore it apart. Mitt Romney also didn't help much. Uh, Todd Aiken's a good man. I'm not standing up here defending people saying stupid things, but Hunter, you'll learn politically. You're already, you're already uh, a fast study. Uh, but, you know, again, I'm talking off the cuff, right straight forward to you, trying to be honest with you. Uh, you may or may not agree with what I'm saying, but I'm telling you from the heart, and I'm not worried about the next election. The 